Welcome to the School of Silence. This is where they send the noisiest children in the country for some intensive silent training. Today, four new pupils have got to step up to the mark and prove they've got what it takes to stay completely silent. Will they be able to keep their mouths shut when the going gets rough? Time to find out. Shh. This rabble are from Kent. What a racket. They're currently being assessed by the headmistress and the form tutor. Right, come to the front! <laughs> right, you, name! That's Danica. Apparently her mum says she has verbal diarrhoea. In this place, that's the worst kind of diarrhoea to have. Name! Bruce. He's often told off for being noisy and cheeky. Not sure he'll get away with that here. Next, you! Name! Luke is a keen footballer and is often heard screaming his lungs out on the pitch. You! Name! That's Rory, and as his name suggests, he also has a good set of lungs on him. He can't play the guitar, but loves to have a good go, as it creates lots of horrible noise. Well, it's a tough team, and with so much energy, it's hard to imagine this lot will ever stay quiet. Right, get out! That's it! Yes, get out, all of you! Shh! Here's how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to learn how to be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If they are too noisy... <laughs> <laughs> I will know about it thanks to this device, the Gobstop 2000, the latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass, they will graduate and receive the ultimate reward, the Golden Gobstopper. If they fail to keep that shut, then I will have no choice but to expel them. Now, before we begin, I must ensure the school has been hushed down. Seven seconds to hush down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time for their silent training to begin. First class, Mr. Gross. A rabbit doesn't make any noise. All it does is twitch its stupid little nose and run around in a tiny cage. Yes, come in, goodness. Hello. Hello, sit down, please. Hello. You're late. Hello. Please to miss you. Oh. you look like you have really smelly sit. I can see that very well. Well, if you had only one pair of socks over a 40-year career, then you probably have smelly feet, so don't be insolent. Right, I am Mr Gross, your teacher for general studies. This is the first lesson in your silent training. We will be conducting a series of tests which must be completed in absolute... Fine. Yes, well done, jolly good, yes. You might learn something today. We will choose which child does each test by selecting a gobstopper from the jar. Yes. Is that clear? Yes. Jolly good. <clears throat> Remember, Miss Gobstopper will be listening at all times via these microphones, and if you make too much noise, she will hear you on her Gobstop 2000. This is important training for your final exam. What will they face first? Shh! What you looking at? Let's find out who's going to do the first challenge. Ooh, ooh. Seconds in absolute silence. Do you think you could do that? Yes. Well, let's oh, find out, shall we? Shh. Are you ready, Bruce? Yes. Your time starts. Now. Ooh, this is quite intense. Bruce is holding out. What can Mr. Gross do? Ooh, pretend to blow his nose. <laughs> oh, it worked. Oh, that got him. Oh! <laughs> 
Well, Bruce was holding out, and then you cracked under pressure of a booger. Easily done. Too much noise. You must learn to be silent throughout all of the tests. Training is bound to get harder. Mr. Gross, spin that tissue and get on with it. What's next? Dunge. Boot. <laughs> Quite simply, the chosen child must wear a pair of boots filled with gunge. Danica, would you like to pick a gobstopper from the jar? Remember, it might even be you. Wouldn't that be nice? In your own time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bruce, what a shame. Shh. Pour in the first one. Lovely. Oh, look at the greasy bit at the bottom. I think that's for my earwax. Oh. Indeed. It's certainly not chocolate. Oh, goodness. Oh. Are you ready? And remember, Bruce, don't just sit there, stand up and give me a little jig, all right? OK. Jolly good. Your time starts now. <laughs> oh, a bit of wincing there. <laughs> and Bruce is off again. Silence. <laughs> oh, no, it's all falling apart. You can't dance. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not good. Time! Stop! Is it too horrible? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Isn't that lovely? Oh, look at your <laughs> disgusting feet. Like you yours. horrible little child. Well, I hope you are quite pleased with yourselves. Yeah. You failed miserably once again. The, the Gobstop 2000 went off repeatedly throughout that task. You Yay. hideous children. Just time for one more. Shh. Slush. Avalanche. Which means that there will be an avalanche of slush down the back of the chosen child. <laughs> You'll have 30 seconds to perform this task whilst remaining absolutely silent. Luke, you can pick, <laughs> seeing as you've got such a big mouth. Oh. I hope it's you. Don't, Luke, don't, don't. Isn't it funny how the cookie crumbles? <laughs> Luke, stick your finger in. Yes. You have 30 seconds to take the slushy avalanche down your back in absolute silence. Your time starts now. <laughs> oh, that's got to be cold. Oh, dear, giggling from Luke. Ooh, hang on. Self-control at last. The training is working. Mr. Gross raising the game a bit here, but no, still good. Right, time up. Bruce, to be fair to you, you actually managed to stay quite silent. The rest of you were giggling like maniacs. <laughs> This sort of insolent behaviour will not be tolerated by the other teachers in the School of Silence. If you do not learn to keep it shut, you will not win the Golden Gobstopper and you will be expelled. You're completely useless. Get out of my classroom immediately. Off you go! <laughs> So that was your first lesson with Mr. Gross and your first taste of silent training. How are you feeling, Bruce? Grossed out. A bit grossed out. The part that grossed me out was him picking his like. <laughs> he does that sometimes, yeah. That's why he's called Mr. Gross. Right, there yeah. you have it. But for now, you've got to concentrate on the canteen, OK? Nora and Brittany are just through there waiting for you. Good luck. Don't forget, silent as you can. See you later. Attention. Attention. This is the School of Silence. Please make all purchases from the School Talk Shop online. Coins are far too noisy. Time now for more silent training in the canteen with Nora and Brittany. Shh! Cooey! It's lunch... Brittany, dear, this is not a time to be taking an afternoon nap. It's lunchtime. Look, 
we have children to feed. Hello, my dears. How are you? Hello. My name is Nora, Nora Nugget. I'm the chief dinner lady here at the School of Silence. And this is my lovely assistant, Brittany Biscuit. Say hello to Brittany, everyone. Hello. Right. What's up, Brittany? So, you are here as part of your silent training, are you not? Yes. Yes, yes good. We and we are going to be feeding you some rather delicious dishes from our very special menu this afternoon to see if you can remain silent while we test you. All right? What's up first? Shh. Feed a friend. You will have 30 seconds to feed each other with rather long spoons from a bowl of custard. All right? No, 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 Brittany, dear. We don't need the gobstoppers on this one, dear. They're all involved, you see. You have 30 seconds to feed as much of that custard to your teammates as you possibly can. I would like to see that bowl cleared. All right? Your 30 seconds of absolute silence starts now. <laughs> Sick. Oh, some giggling and chuckling there. <laughs> this is meant to test them. It's very tricky to keep quiet during this one. <laughs> they don't seem to be doing very well and they are completely distracted. Oh, come on! Miss <laughs> Gobstop won't be pleased. <laughs> oh, and that is time. Well, I noticed oh. the Gobstop 2000 going off a number of times. I'm afraid you were giggling the whole way through. And look how much custard there is left. Look! Oh dear. Next up. Right, this next test is called Mushy P Salon. Your chosen teammate, whoever that may be, could be any one of you, will be restyling your chosen teammate's hair with mushy peas and a few accessories. There's some curlers and some little grips. Now, who wants to pick the first gobstopper there? I think Rory. A little reach in, see which colour you pick out. Who's it going to be, Danica? Oh, it's Brucey! Bruce, oh. do you like mushy peas? No. Oh, well, you could do with a new hairstyle, couldn't you, Danica? Yeah. Shh. And here's our accessories. Are you ready? Your 30 seconds, Rory. Start from now. Oh. Noise from Bruce there. Holding it well. Oh no, the chuckling has started. That's Rory and Bruce. And they're losing it. Oh, they're gaining control again. Oh, and that is time up. You've set off the Gobstop 2000 a couple of times, I'm afraid to tell you. And that wasn't the first time, was it? After this poor performance, I'm afraid it might be expulsion for you. Oh, Bruce, you do look a picture. <laughs> well, I would like to thank you all very much for coming to see me in my kitchen today, and I wish you the very best of luck. All right, off you go now. Good hairstyle. Isn't he? Yeah, brilliant hairstyle. Better than your you other one. You make me go. I don't like Bruce anymore. Or Rory. Or Denny can look noisy. So that's the end of your lesson with Nora and Brittany in the canteen. How do you think it's going? Bad. It's part of your silent training though, isn't it? So the idea is to try and test you to see how silent you can be. Well, you've got one more lesson to go to for a few more tests, and that's the science lesson with Miss Bunsen. So are you going to be more silent in this lesson? Yep. yep. Are you going to go away with the golden gobstopper? Yep. yep. Are you going to graduate from the School of Silence? Yes! yes. OK, well, good luck. I hope you do really well. Go and get yourself cleaned up, and uh, we'll see you in there. Ugh. Good luck, guys. Ugh. About time you got messy, I think. Pupils are reminded that due to the banning of noisy tools in woodwork, this term's project will be about paper folding. Quietly. The team from Kent now have their last class of the day with the very potty Miss Bunsen. How to bend the time-space continuum. Any individual can by closing your eyes and straining like this. But not too hard. Oh, come in! Welcome, Rory. Come in. Danica, nice to meet you. Luke, hello. Bruce, come in, come in. Nice to meet you all. My name is Miss Bunsen. I am the science teacher. I'm here to teach you science. Now then, this is your last class before your final exam. Hopefully, Miss Bunsen can turn this lot around. Instant. 
Snow! Matt! Who's giggling? For instant snowman, I have created all season snow. Now, I just need to test that we're able to make a snowman from my all season snow. And that's where you come in handy. Hmm, who shall we be picking? Luke, why don't you pick? Who's going to be? Oh dear, Luke, you've picked you. <laughs> Put it back in. Wonderful. Now then, you have 30 seconds to complete this task in complete silence. And your time starts. No! <laughs> There's definitely some laughter, but it's at a minimum. <laughs> oh, it's getting louder. Giggling from Danica there. <laughs> Definitely quieter, but still a lot of chuckling. Time! 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 Time's up! Time's up! Oh, right. Let's have a look. Before you melt completely, let's put on the finishing touches. No snowman is complete without a carrot nose. And, of course, a hat. Oh, wonderful. You managed to keep quite quiet. Well done. Can they crack it with this last challenge? Turbo, take off. Now this is one of my very, 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 very special inventions. <laughs> it involves one of you putting on a pack made up of fizzy pop. Then the other person who will be assisting will drop in the turbocharged pellets, which will send the other person zooming into the stratosphere. You see, let's have let's have you, Rory, pick it. Oh, oh, Danica, it's you. Let's just undo the bottle tops. Now, as you know. All the experiments are to be done in complete and utter silence. OK. 30 seconds of silence starts now. Can they stay silent? Stand back. <laughs> oh, no, a big cry of laughter from Rory there, I think. Let's see that again. Yep, Danica is soaked. Now, she manages to keep pretty quiet, but the cries from her teammates make it a total wipeout. <laughs> Danica, you're still here, aren't you? Rory, what did you do wrong? Uh, no. Laugh. That's, that's exactly right. You laughed. I cannot have noise in my laboratory because Colonel Kittens won't put up with this noise, will he? Now then. Boys and girls, I suggest you get off to Colonel Kittens' lesson because he won't put up with legs. Yes. Off you go! Kiss him! Have they finished? As a team, how do you think you've done? Because effectively that is now your silent training over. You've now got to put what you've learned into practice in the final exam with Colonel Kittens. So how do you feel? Are you slightly nervous about it? Do you think you might have achieved that silent status? I think I might have achieved it. Yeah, as the girl was, but the boys oh, were not really OK, Danica, you hit me to shape. It's now time for your final exam with Colonel Kittens. He's waiting for you. Don't keep the man waiting. He's very strict. Best of luck. I think they're going to do it. Silence in the classroom, silence in the street. The biggest twerp in the world is the next one to speak. Thank you. Oh. They've had their three classes, and now it's time for their final exam. Colonel Kittens will really put them to the test. To graduate and win the golden gobstopper, they must keep that shut. If they set off the gobstop 2,003 times, they will be expelled! It's now or never. Has their training paid off? It's time to find out as the team face their final exam. 
with Colonel Kittens. Wait! You miserable little monsters! I am Colonel Kittens. And it's my job to make you crack. And from what I've heard, it's not going to be too difficult, seeing as you've been cracking up all afternoon and making an awful racket. These are the items at my disposal. You may not receive all of them, but you will receive most of them, and particularly the gooey ones. Does that sound nice? No, no, sir. no, no sir. sir! Thank you very much. If you make three noises that set off the Gobstock 2000, you will be expelled. If you manage to make less than that and keep quiet, then you will graduate. Whoopee for you! Are you ready to suffer in silence? Yes, yes sir! sir! Your time starts now! OK, what's up first? The Feather Duster, a classic. He's gone straight for the feet. Those are the bits that are opposite the hands. Very ticklish. But not a peep from anybody. Good start. Oh dear. Yes, the blue splat. Straight to the face. It's not easy, this. Still performing well. Oh, a little wine from Danica there, I think. Kind of just staring to make sure, and he's gone for the green gunk hat for Rory. Good control, though. What about now? A silly hat and sprinkles. Not something you see every day. But they handle it well. Oh no, it's the fart machine. Very rarely fails. <laughs> yes, definitely some hearty, farty laughter there. <laughs> oh, it's the shaving foam. Straight for Luke. <laughs> and Nika gets the comedy straw hairdo. Oh, that's the peach slop. What a mess. Time's up! Well, how do you think you did? Good. Good? I wouldn't necessarily call that good. You look like a flaming ice cream. Look, you've even got shaving foam on your head after the exam. Ridiculous. And where's Bruce? I can't even see you, boy. You're so covered in junk! <laughs> there you go, son! Have that on your bonds! I've had enough of you lots! Get out! Of my team! You still here, boy! So there we have it, the remains of what was the final exam. Did you feel prepared when you went into it? Yeah. 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 How do you feel now you've come out the other side of it? Um, um, sticky, from, very sticky. Apart from sticky. Do you think in that final exam you made three noises no. that were loud enough to set yeah, off the gobstock? Yeah, maybe. You think you made four? Luke, expelled or graduated? Graduated. Okay, Danica? Graduated. Graduated. Bruce? <laughs> Rory? Expelled. Expelled? Okay, well, you are about to find out. This gobstock is waiting for you right now. Best of luck. Off you go. <laughs> So it's time to get the results of their final exam. Come in. Quickly. You were sent here today because you're all far too noisy. And I've put you through rigorous silent training. Shall we take a look at your report? Bruce. You obviously needed a lot of training today. You got picked for many tasks, didn't you? Full of noise and cheek at the beginning of the day. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> but then you got better. Well done. Danica, the only girl. Few cheeky giggles. Shh! <laughs> Rory, you're a cheeky, chatty, chappy. Not something I encourage in this school. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Look, 
our little snowman. Was it nice to be a snowman? Quite the giggler, often at the misfortune of your teammates. Shh. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Shh. But did you control your laughter in the final? How do you think you did? Quite good. Quite good, Danica. Quite good. Quite good. You're very quiet now, aren't you? For four very, very loud pupils throughout the day. Look. Will you win the golden gobstopper? Is that a yes, Danica? Shall I tell you? You will be expelled. You set off my gobstop 2000 three times. Shh, that's a shame. Three times. Okay, let's see who set it off. <laughs> Danica, that's one. <laughs> Bruce, two. And Danica again. That makes three. Shh. During the final exam, my ears were ringing. So unfortunately, I won't be giving you the wonderful golden gobstopper. You receive this. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Colonel Kittens to the head's office, please. Colonel Kittens. Come in. Colonel Kittens, report for duty headmistress. Colonel. Please remove these students from the premises. Tranny, Miss Gobstop, I will make sure they are expelled and they know it! Donna? Yes. Get out. Get out of our office. Get out, get out, get out. Quick part, quick move. Donna? You forgot one. No, it's okay. Get out of here. I, can I not? Get out! Sorry, sir. The year is 2110 and the Roboids have taken over the Earth. What? Are you tough enough to help save the Earth? If so, CBBC needs you. I'm scared. Please help. For more about Roboids and to sign up for the mission, go to the website and click on Be On A Show. Welcome to the Cartoon Works. Come inside to see CBBC's top cartoons and get a sneaky peek at some new stuff. But that's not all. We've got a whole factory to explore. Let me show you around. There's loads of games in our production line. If you're good enough and you spot all the hidden clues, you might even get to be boss. The cartoon works these new recruits. Come and join us at bbc.co.uk forward slash cbbc. Coming up in a few moments is MI High. Their mission is to try and stop the mole robbing more bank vaults. With Rose busy, it's down to Oscar and Carrie.